Hello, God bless you. This video is to get people ready. Time is almost up. We need to be looking up and we need to be getting people ready to go home. I felt led to bring out these warning videos. We will be posting at least one video a day or more if the Lord leads. But this is a warning. Time is almost up. You need to be getting ready right now to go home. And we need to be getting as many people ready as we can. We're all running out of time. This world needs to know right now that the rapture is about to take place. Because after it happens, the world will use all kinds of excuses, telling all kinds of lies, explaining away what has really happened. We need to be letting everyone know if millions around the world suddenly disappear, if all the children all around the world have mysteriously vanished, if you do not hear my voice again, if these videos are no longer uploaded, know that the rapture has taken place. And it is because I love you that I am warning you right now. Because I want to take as many with me as I can. But you must trust in Jesus. Trust the gospel. 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4 Jesus died for your sins according to the scriptures. Jesus was buried and rose from the dead on the third day according to the scriptures. Romans 10, 9-13 If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. You believe with your heart unto righteousness, and with your mouth confession is made unto salvation, and all who call on the name of the Lord will be saved. You may have repeated a prayer to accept Jesus as your Savior, perhaps just to please someone, but you didn't really know what it meant, or maybe you were not sincere in your prayer. Your attempt may have been just to get a get-out-of-jail-free card. Perhaps you had entirely dismissed Christianity as boring, ridiculous, or irrelevant. You may not even want to know Jesus because you think that Jesus is all about rules. Now that's religion. Religion is man trying to be good enough to get to God by his own efforts. Jesus breaks the chains of religion and sets you free. Perhaps you shut out Jesus because of the church or someone offended you. We're all human. We all mess up. But don't miss heaven because some broken person offended you to make themselves feel better. Everyone has done wrong things called sin against God. That's Romans 3.23. We all deserve God's punishment. That's Romans 6.23. And we cannot save ourselves from that punishment by our own efforts. We cannot save even ourselves by good works or religion. That's Romans 3.20. So our situation seems hopeless, but God did not leave us in a hopeless state. God sent His Son Jesus to the world. That's John 3.16. Jesus lived a perfect life without any sin. That's Hebrews 4.15. Jesus deserved no punishment. But when Jesus died on that cross, He suffered the punishment for our sins. We see that in Galatians 3.13. Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law being made a curse. And also in Romans 5.8, God showed, proved His love towards us. That while we failed him in our sins, Jesus still died for us. God did not wait till we were lovable without sin before he saved us. God saved us while we were still sinners. In Romans 5.18 says, By the offense of one, judgment came upon all men to condemnation. By the righteous of one, the free gift came upon all men unto justification of life. But we cannot benefit from his death if we do nothing. We must be humble. God will forgive us. If we confess our evil deeds, sin, to Him, that's Acts 3.19, we must invite Him into our lives, and we must simply trust Him. Then God will change our lives. We say that in 2 Corinthians 5.17. If we are in Christ, we are a new creature. Old things are passed away. All things have become new. Jesus' suffering on the cross is a picture that may be difficult for you to understand. But He was betrayed by a friend. He was arrested and falsely accused and sentenced to death. He was beaten and whipped. A crown of thorns was pressed on his head. In bearing the cross, he stumbled and staggered. Each step of the journey got worse. He was spit on, mocked, but Jesus never looked back. He kept on going. You know, Jesus could have summoned a legion of angels to save him. He could have called for fire to come down from heaven. He could have avoided that cross, but Jesus was not interested in saving himself. He was only interested in saving you. Every detail of this torturous path to the cross was part of God's plan to bring you to him. We are all all broken we all mess up and we have all done made wrong choices no one has to teach a baby to be angry or selfish we are all born with it but the blood of jesus shed on the cross 
blotted out our sin record. Our sins were nailed to the cross with them. The blood of Jesus washed those sins away. Jesus' blood is our ticket into a relationship with God. The Bible says if we confess with our mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, then we will be saved. It's not enough to intellectually believe in Jesus with your head. You must believe in Jesus with your heart. It's that simple. God loves you enough that he paid the ticket for you to get into heaven. We're all sinners. None of us can buy our way into heaven. It's a 100% free gift. We can't earn it. We don't deserve it. But God loves us enough that he made a way. So put your faith and trust in Jesus right now. Just call out to Jesus and surrender your life to him. Because right now there is just one person at the foot of the cross. And it is you. All you have to do is believe this. Right now is the easiest time. Trust me, you don't want to wait to come to Jesus. Right now, you just have to accept his free gift. But if you wait until you are left behind, then in the tribulation, you will have to give your life for him. But Jesus already gave his life for you, but you didn't accept it. But right now, under grace, is the easiest time. You just have to believe in what Jesus did on the cross for you. That's the gospel message. It's that simple. Here's a sample prayer you can pray if you want to give your life to Jesus. It doesn't have to be these exact words. Just say something like, Jesus, thank you for shedding your blood for me. I'm giving my heart to you today. I do believe that you died for me and that you were raised from the dead for me. Please give me a new heart and a new life right now. And just know that God hears your prayers and he will answer your prayers. And if you are sincere and have truly surrendered to Jesus, that Jesus will protect you and give you strength. We have uploaded the rapture video for those who will be left behind. Links will be in the description box. Feel free to share it or download it. Store a copy with your Bibles and rapture letters. Or by all means, make your own. In your own words, we don't have time for mocking and scoffing, for debating on timing or reality of the rapture. The point of this video is to point people to Jesus, to shine the light of Jesus in this world, which is getting darker by the day. There are so many in this world who are spiritually asleep. They think they have years. They mock Jesus. They rebel. They think that they're God. Soon they will find out that they are not. Many have differing opinions on the rapture, but one thing is for certain. We are not guaranteed tomorrow. In fact, we are not guaranteed our next breath. But when the rapture happens, the world will panic. So keep trying to tell as many as you can. Maybe make your own warning video or share this one. They may not want to wake up, but once we're gone, they will remember you warned them that this is coming. So get ready. Time is almost up. Look up because our redemption is drawing near. Get as many people ready as you can. Because ready or not, we are going home. I love you. Jesus loves you. God bless you. We'll see you in the next video. Or hopefully we'll see you in the clouds.